Hi there, I'm Christine Niles. Did you know you can watch headlines and so much more at our website, churchmilitant.com. In addition to Vortex and Download, you also get many hundreds of hours of premium programming, as well as hard-hitting journalism you won't find anywhere else. Please check us out at churchmilitant.com. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, June 5th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican is rejecting intercommunion. In a letter dated May 25th, Vatican Doctrine Chief Archbishop Luis Ladaria revealed that Pope Francis is rejecting the German bishop's proposal to allow Protestant spouses of Catholics to receive the Eucharist. Ladaria said the proposal clashes with canon law and could sour relations with other religions. He added that admitting non-Catholics to Holy Communion is not a local issue, but affects the entire church. After the Supreme Court handed down a major decision protecting religious freedom yesterday, critics claim it doesn't go as far as people think. Monday, the High Court ruled that Colorado had violated Baker Jack Phillips' First Amendment rights when it punished him for refusing to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple. The victory was muted, however, by claims that the court only addressed Colorado officials anti-Christian animus and made no general ruling saying all people with, with religious objections to gay marriage are exempt from providing services for gay weddings. A Muslim disrupted mans, uh, mass in France screaming Allahu Akbar and the diocese is covering it up. This according to Islam expert Robert Spencer who noted that the diocese is claiming the Muslim never spoke those words when he grabbed the microphone from the bishop at the May 20th Pentecost Mass. But multiple eyewitnesses and attendants have confirmed he did scream Allahu Akbar. Spencer claims it's in the interest of the diocese to cover up the scandal to maintain the narrative that Islam is a so-called religion of peace. California parents are pulling their kids out of class in a fight over graphic sex education. On May 29th, parents in San Diego kept their children home from school to protest rights, respect, responsibility, a radical sex ed curriculum targeting students as young as 11. Since its introduction in 2016, the curriculum has been slammed by critics for normalizing pornography, objectifying children, and grooming them for sexual exploitation. The parents of euthanasia victim Charlie Gard are setting up a charity for sick children in his name. Monday marked the launch of the Charlie Gard Foundation, a research and support nonprofit for children with rare brain conditions. Charlie died of the condition in July of last year after the British government refused his parents' request to take him to the U.S. for experimental treatment. Many have compared his case to that of Alfie Evans, also euthanized by a British hospital. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael says they'll never learn. And check out the download where the panel discusses the aftermath in Ireland. God bless you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, you can get this as well as hundreds of top-rate premium videos at our website, churchmilitant.com. We're also on social media, so check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks again, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com.